Okay, let me share my screen. Share my screen. Okay, so can everyone see my screen? Yes. Yes, I can see Aliyah raising your hand. Thank you. Can you hear me all right? Do I need to speak louder? All good. Thank you. Yes, clear, clear. All right, thank you so much. So before we begin, let me quickly share about myself. So my name is Sydney D. So you just have to remember Sydney, Australia. So plus a D at the back, Sydney D. So I'm from Help University, Career Sense Help University specifically. I'm a counselor and also a lecturer. I'm also a licensed counselor from Lembaga Counselor. And all this, whatever that you see on the screen, basically is just a little bit about myself. So generally it's not very important that you have to remember because our topic of the day is to help you bust a little bit of a stress that all of you are feeling because I know that some of you are form four some of you are form five can I have a show of hands how many are form five any form five students show of hands no so all are form four? Okay. So form four? How about the rest that did not raise your hand? You're not form four or form five? So I know previously when I was in high school, many, many years ago, everyone always say that Form 4 is the honeymoon year because you just finished your exam and you have another major exam coming up next year. But basically Form 4 is the year where you can get to take a break, have fun, enjoy your high school life maybe a little. How many of you are feeling that? Do you think Form 4 is really a honeymoon year where you can just enjoy yourself, take a break from all the major exams? No, you can. No. How about I? You raise your hand. Does that mean you agree? Form four is a honeymoon year where you can take a break. No. No. Yes. No. <laughs> okay. So, I take it that you probably also feel some amount of stress in form four maybe a whole lot when you're on form five so let me quickly also go to my next slide so we basically want to talk about stress and stress is part of our mental health but really quickly i want to ask and please unmute yourself if you want to speak up you can by all means i love hearing other voices other than myself what do you think is mental health? When you hear mental health, what is the first thought that comes to you? Depression. Depression. Exactly, Ayn. That is one, that is one sign, one or a, a factor, one single part of mental health. Anything else? Anybody else? What is mental health? Emotion. Did I hear emotion? Yes, they so say it something say emotion. To do with, it has something to do with your emotion. Anything else? Of course, there are also people that say, I remember back in those days when I asked these questions to my students, some people would say that your know, mental health, of course, it naturally some would equate them to orangula, you know, something is wrong with them. What else? Anything else that you can think of when it comes to mental health? 
Uh, in the chat box, Azizul said an illness that can't be cured easily, but we can prevent or decrease the risk as it's emotion, something we can't see, not like physical. Exactly. Wow. Thank you, Azizul. So you think that it's an illness that cannot be cured easily. Okay. Anything else? Psychological. Psychological. Anybody else? Okay, let me share with you a little bit about what WHO actually thinks or how WHO define mental health. Um, well, basically, for those of you who doesn't know what WHO, basically it's World Mental Health Organization or rather World Health Organization. What they define as mental health is basically, it's a state of well-being, you know, where individual will realize his or, own, his or own abilities and we're able to cope with normal stresses in life and we can work productively and also effectively. So basically that is their definition of mental health. Whenever there is stress in our lives, we are able to cope with it. But of course, mental health definitely includes emotion, like some of you said, emotion, our psychological well-being, and also our social well-being. Are we able to interact and communicate with other people effectively? Right? So... Did somebody wants to say something? And uh, so Hadira is saying that it affects heavily in our life and our body and mind. So definitely. So usually when we talk about mental health, we don't just look at our mind because our mind will definitely also affect our body and our body will also affect how our mind is functioning. Okay, so this is the very wide definition of mental health. And what is good mental health? Of course, a lot of times when we talk about mental health, there is good and bad. In a way, what it really means is it's how healthy is your mental well-being. So if you're able to learn, if you're able to cope with your stress, if you're able to express yourself, tell other people what you're really thinking, tell other people what you're really feeling, whether it's negative or positive. And if you are able to form good relationship with other people, so make friends, have a good relationship with your family members and all that, so that is categorized as healthy mental well-being. So that's good mental health. Okay, so far so good. Anybody has any questions? Let's see if there's any. You can type in the chat box if you have any questions. I will look at it occasionally. Thank you, Anne, for translating. Any questions so far? Dada? All good? Okay. Moving on. I want to play a really, really easy game with all of you. Okay. Um, wait, my screen's not moving. So I want to ask all of you whether you are familiar with HP and MP. Do you know what is HP and do you know what is MP? How many of you play games and are familiar with HP and MP? Najib, I saw that you, you unmuted yourself. HP is health point. Uh, MP is mana point. Oh, very good. 
So I hope you know what is the function of health point and mana point or your magic points. How many, who else knows about HP and MP? Raise of hand is good too. Even if you don't know, it's fine. So health points basically is your, what I'm trying to say here, your HP, your health points, basically is your physical health. Okay, how healthy you are physically. MP, your mana points or your magic points, in game, usually it allows you to do a lot of special, um, I guess you can call it boosters or you can call it special effects when you're playing games. So your mana points here that I'm trying to represent is basically your mental health, your mental well-being. Okay, so one is your physical health, another one is your mental health. All right, so, and I want all of you to have a piece of paper. Do you have a piece of paper with you? Piece of paper and a pen or pencil. Yes. All right, great. If you have paper and pen with you, I want all of you to try to do this. Create this. A table with me. So there are 12 questions all together that I'll be asking you. So please separate your columns into HP and MP so that you can keep track how many points are you getting or not getting from question one to question 12. Can all of you do that with me, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Let me give you a couple of minutes to do that. Raise your hand when you're done so that I know. Yay. Thank you. Okay, I see that most of you are done. Now I'm going to ask you some questions and if you only need to answer yes or no. So every question that I'm asking you, I want you to think back in the last three months, okay? Have you ever done whatever that I'm, that I'm asking you? In the last three months, have you ever done all the activities or behaviors that I will be asking you next? So you just have to say yes or no. If you answer yes, I will give you certain points to deduct or to add. If you answer no, there are also maybe certain points to deduct or to add. So all you have to also remember is at this current moment, your HP and your MP is 100%. So now you have full 100 points for HP and also full 100 points for MP. Every question that I ask you, you either add more points to it or you deduct points from it. Any questions so far? Okay. So first question. In the last three months, have you talked to a friend on the phone until after midnight on a school day? Sinadi, can I request to also just translate to Malay a little bit the questions for the students? Translating to Malay, I can try. <laughs> uh, jumbo, jumbo, <laughs> um, so let me repeat my question in English first, yeah? 
So in the last three months, have you talked to a friend on the phone until after midnight on a school day? So dalam, I guess, uh, tiga bulan yang lepas, have you ever talked to a friend? Cakap dengan kawan dengan telefon until after midnight, after 12 a.m. on a school day. So if you answer no, then there's no effect on your HP and MP. If you answer yes, minus 10 points from your HP and you plus five points for your MP. So if you answer yes, your HP will be at 90 now and your MP will be 105. So kalau you answer yes, HP tolak 10 marka, your MP you tambah 5 marka. Okay, question two. In the last three months, have you spent time doing your favorite activity? So dalam tiga bulan yang lepas, adakah kamu buat apa-apa yang kamu suka, aktiviti yang kamu suka? So if you answer yes, your HP, you tambah lima puluh marka. And your MP, you tambah dua puluh lima marka. Kalau you answer no, tak ada. Your HP, you tolak 50 marka. Your MP, you tolak 25 marka. Okay, any favorite activity? Maybe favorite activity, you baca buku ke? You cakap dengan kawan ke? You watch a cartoon or drama online ke? Apa-apa sajalah. So kalau yes, you tambah lima puluh marka untuk HP, you tambah dua puluh lima marka untuk H, uh, MP. Kalau no, you tolak lima puluh marka untuk HP, you tolak dua puluh lima marka untuk MP. Okay. So the function of this is because bila you buat activity yang you suka, then you are recharging yourself. So that's why for your physical health and your mental health, it's very good for you because you are recharging yourself. Kalau tak ada, you tak ada recharge yourself, your stress level is increasing. So that's why health-wise, you tolak marka. Mental health-wise, you also tolak marka. Okay? Now, soalan tiga. In the last three months, kalau uh, main game pun boleh. So, okay, question number three. In the last three months, have you watched late night movie with your friends or your family? So, dalam bulan, uh, tiga bulan yang lepas, adakah you pernah watch movie, late night movie, ah, dengan kawan-kawan ke atau family member? Maybe online ke, maybe pergi cinema ke, now cinema, cinema dah, dah open, kan? So maybe ada, maybe tak ada. Kalau tak ada, then no effect. Tak ada tambah marka, tak ada tolak marka. Tapi kalau ada, then your HP, you tolak 10 marka. Your MP, you tambah 5 marka. Okay, so kalau ada, then your HP, you tolak 10 marka. MP, you tambah 5 marka. Okay, so about late night movie, biasanya, it's not good for your physical health because you need to stay up late. So memang for physical health, it's not good for you. But because you are watching movie with your friends, with your family, you feel happy. So mental health wise, you're feeling happy, you're feeling good. 
So that's why you tambah marka. Tapi HP you tolak marka. So far so good. Boleh? Boleh ikut? Okay, next one. In the last three months, do you sleep for at least seven hours? Okay, dalam uh, tiga bulan yang lepas juga, ada tak semua tidur at least seven hours, tujuh jam? Ada tak? Every day. Kalau tak ada, then your HP, you tolak lima puluh marka. Your MP, you tolak dua puluh lima marka. Kalau ada, you did sleep at least seven hours. Then your HP, you add lima puluh marka. Your MP, you tambah dua puluh lima marka kalau ada. Selalunya lima jam saja ke? Taufik. So usually, if you Google sleep assessment, uh, kalau tidur 2 a.m. till noon, uh, usually not good for your health, not good for your physical health, but because my question did not specify pukul berapa sampai berapa, kan? So then, take it as yes. Okay, no idea. <laughs> I can judge, okay? Ada judgment here. So, kalau yes, you tambah 50 marka for your HP. Your MP, you tambah 25 marka. Kalau tak ada, you tolak 50 marka for your HP. Your MP, you tolak 25 marka. So, kalau, like I was saying, if you were to Google sleep assessment atau um, sleep hygiene semua tu, Biasanya for your age group, there is a specific number of hours you are supposed to sleep. Okay, so for your age range, all of you, I'm going to take all of you from 4, from 5, so around uh, 16 tahun, 17 tahun. So usually 7 hours is uh, recommended. So that's why sleeping for at least 7 hours is very important for your physical health. So, sama lah, kalau you boleh recharge yourself physically, mentally, you're also more alert. Mentally, you also can function better because less stress, you can focus better. So that's why, kalau you are asleep for at least seven hours, physically, you will feel good. Mentally, you also feel good. So, ada tak, um, ada ada semua have this feeling. When you wake up, you feel very good. Pernah tak ada feeling macam ni? You feel very recharged like, wah, oh, I've slept for, I've slept really well last night. Ah, uh, yes. So, kalau tak, then Chun Hao, please, maybe you want to adjust your sleep pattern a bit. Because biasanya, if we feel recharged, when we wake up in the morning, we'll be like, oh, I feel like, you know, I'm very energized. I want to do something. I feel like I'm, I have the energy to do something. So, that is the, Importance and also function of sleep. Okay, next one. Soalan number lima. So, in the last three months, did you eat, or rather, did you not eat unhealthy processed food for a week? So, meaning, dalam masa tiga bulan yang lepas, pernah tak you have never or you did not eat unhealthy processed food macam candy lah, sweets ke, uh, atau drink Coca-Cola ke, drink uh, Pepsi ke, semua tu uh, tak makan McD, tak makan snack, tak makan chips, tak makan uh, fast food, semua tu tak ada. Untuk satu minggu, pernah tak? So, if you answer no, you either makan process unhealthy processed food, even for example, ham ke, luncheon meat ke, semua tu is unhealthy processed food. Sebab there is a lot of sugar content, there is a lot of salt content in the food. Okay? 
high concentrasi of um, gula dan garam. So, kalau you langsung tak makan for one week, abobati you. So, yes, thank you, Anne. <laughs> Key life ke, cha time ke, atau uh, any, any other. Kalau you ada drink, then that is also unhealthy processed food. Kalau tak ada, you tak ada makan semua tu for one week. Then your HP, you tambah 10 markah. Your MP, you tambah 5 markah. Kalau ada, you ada makan. Then your HP, you tolak 25 markah. Your MP, you tambah 5 markah. So, I repeat. Ah. Kalau you tak ada makan unhealthy processed food langsung untuk seminggu, okay? Then you tambah for your HP, you tambah 10 marka, MP you tambah 5 marka. Tapi kalau you ada makan semua tu, ada drink bobati ke semua tu, then oh, we are at question 5. So your HP you tolak 25 marka, your MP you tambah 5 marka. Okay. So biasanya kalau we feel stress, makan semua tu akan make us feel happy. So that's why MP you will still tambah marka sebab you feel happy. Tapi for your physical health, memang kalau high concentration of gula dan garam dia tu memang tak good for your for your physical body. So for your HP, dia akan tolak marka lah. Okay, next one, number enam. In the last three months, have you shared your thoughts and your feelings when you feel hurt? Okay, so similarly, sama, um, dalam masa tiga bulan yang lepas, pernah tak adik-adik um, express or share what you're thinking or how you're feeling when somebody hurt you so maybe uh, ada kawan yang kata apa-apa yang ganggu perasaan you then have you ever tell your friends you know you hurt me i don't feel happy when you say this to me or i don't feel that you understand me really well semua tu lah have you ever shared what you are thinking and what you are feeling if in the past three months you have shared what you're thinking and what you're feeling, then your HP for your physical health, you tambah 10 marka. But your MP, you tambah 5 marka. Kalau no, tak ada. Even if your friends hurt your feelings, you just diam-diam saja, keep it to yourself. You don't want to tell your friends about scared nanti uh, akan argue ke atau macam mana. So, kalau you tak ada share, your HP, you minus 10 marka, your MP, you tolak 5 marka. So, kalau tak ada, HP, you tolak 10 marka, MP, tolak 5 marka. Kalau ada, HP, you tambah 5 marka, MP, you tambah 5, uh, so, sorry, HP, you tambah 10 marka, MP, you tambah 5 marka. Okay. So, usually, if you feel hurt by another person, it's good for you that you tell the other person. So, you tak, tak payah blame that person atau marah-marah dengan, dengan orang tu. But basically, just tell that person whatever you're saying, it's very hurtful. So, you hurt my feelings. So that you don't have to carry that with you. It's also very stressful for your body. It's also very stressful for your mental health. So that's why kalau tak ada, then you tolak marka. Kalau ada, then you tambah marka. Okay? Question 7. So in the last three months, did you eat your favorite food or your dessert after a very long or very tiring day? So dalam... Uh, 
tiga bulan yang lepas, bila you feel tired after a very long day, pernah tak you makan your favorite food ke atau dessert? Kalau ada, HP you tambah 10 marka, MP you tambah 5 marka. Kalau even if you feel very tired, you tak ada makan your favorite food, your favorite food can be uh, McDonald's punya fries ke atau or ice cream ke, okay? as long as it's your favorite food. Okay? Kalau tak ada, then your mental health, your MP, you tolak 5 marka. Kalau ada, HP, you tambah 10 marka, MP, you tambah 5 marka. Okay, so biasanya, if we have after a very long, very tiring day, and when we eat something we are, that makes us feel happy, our favorite food, right? So it makes us feel happy. So that's why when we are happy, physically, physical health-wise, it will also Im improve our physical health because we feel happy. Mental health, so about you feel happy, of course, it will also tambah marka, it will also make you feel good. Kalau tak ada, then that's why physical health, tak ada apa-apa perubahan, but mental health, you tolak lima marka. Okay? Question number eight. Dalam, again, tiga bulan yang lepas, do you want, have you ever also want other people to do things your way? You nak semua orang ikut cara you saja. Okay, so you want other people to do things your way. You do not accept if they want to do it their way. Okay, so kalau tak ada, then your MP, your mental health, you tambah 50 marka. Kalau ada, your HP, you tolak 10 marka. Your MP, you tolak 25 marka. Okay, so in the past three months, so if you have tried, you wanted, or you force other people to do things your way, so, ikut cara or ikut cara you saja. Tak kisah if the person don't want to do it like that or tak kisah that person say no to you but you just want that person to follow your way. So, kalau ada, HP you tolak 10 marka, MP you tolak 25 marka. Kalau tak ada, MP you tambah 25 marka. Okay, biasanya, if we force other people to do things our way, yang tu, all that falls under expectation. Kalau we have very high expectation towards other people, it's very stressful to us. Okay, I don't know if you have that experience. Maybe bukan you force other people to follow your way. Maybe other people force you to follow their way. Okay, maybe for example, have you tried... Have you had that experience? Your friends ke, or your family member, your parents ke, or your brothers, your sister, they want you to do things their way. Have you had that experience before? Very stressful kan? So if you have forced other people exactly like how they force you, HP, MP, you tolak marka. Kalau tak ada, then MP, you tambah marka. Okay? Next one, number nine. In the last three months, have you spent at least 30 minutes exercising? Ada tak uh, bersenam for at least 30 minutes dalam bulan, uh, tiga bulan yang lepas? Pernah tak you bersenam for 30 minutes at least? Kalau ada, then HP, you tambah 10 marka. MP, you tambah 5 marka. Kalau tak ada, mungkin you tak bersenam langsung or maybe less than 30 minutes. Then your HP, you tolak 10 marka. Your MP, you tolak 5 marka. Biasanya, if we want to talk about if it's good for your um, physical health, 
in order to improve your uh, physical health, in order to improve your heart rate and all that, you need to at least exercise for 30 minutes. Lah. <laughs> Anything lesser than that, it's uh, sometimes it's not very good in terms of, uh, or it's not very, uh, I guess, effective. Let me put it that way. Even fast walking, uh, that not, not necessarily has to be very heavy duty sort of exercise. Fast walking, uh, or maybe slow job, you tapaya lari for very fast, maybe slow job, uh, fast walking, uh, at least 30 minutes a day is definitely very good for both your physical and mental health. When we exercise, generally, it's very relaxing to our mind. So it helps our relaxation. So that's why it's good for our mental health. Kalau you ada buat um, house chores at, at home, like maybe you ada tolong kat rumah, uh, for example, mop lantai ke, or cuci baju ke, all that. Even if you do sweat when you do house chores, that one does not consider as exercise, yeah? Because that is not relaxing to your mind, okay? So that one is not considered exercising because it's not mentally relaxing. It's very exhausting, okay? So semua tu house chores tak kira. Okay, question 10. We're almost done. In the last three months, have you saved money for something you really want? So dalam uh, tiga bulan yang lepas, pernah tak adik-adik uh, simpan duit untuk beli something that you really want? Yes. So if yes, your MP, you tambah lima markah. HP tak ada apa-apa uh, perubahan, but MP, you tambah lima markah. Kalau tak ada, MP, you tolak lima markah. HP also tak ada apa-apa perubahan. And see Taufik very excited. Yes, I did save money. So usually saving money for something you really want because you're it you are working towards getting something you really want is very exciting. It makes you happy. So that's why your MP tambah marka kalau ada. Tapi physical health wise, memang tak ada no no effect lah, tak ada apa apa effect. So that's why no no effect. You tak tambah tak tolak tolak marka for your HP. Tak, but MP you tambah marka atau you tolak marka. Okay, question eleven. In the last three months, have you asked for help when you need it? So dalam tiga bulan yang lepas, bila you meet you ada apa apa. Um, difficulty ke or ada apa-apa yang you tak tahu macam mana nak buat did you ask for help ada tak minta tolong dari maybe family member ke atau minta tolong dari kawan ke kalau ada <laughs> kalau ada then your HP you tambah 10 marka your MP you tambah 5 marka Kalau tak ada, HP you tolak 10 marka, MP you tolak 5 marka. Okay. So again, kalau ada, you ada minta tolong, uh, minta tolong bila you ada apa-apa uh, difficulty ke, then HP you tambah 10 marka, MP you tambah 5 marka. Kalau tak ada, you even though you tak tahu macam mana nak buat, you still do it on your own. You tak minta tolong. HP, you, tam, uh, you tolak 10 marka. MP, you tolak 5 marka. So, biasanya, of course, if we have any difficulty, don't try to push yourself to do it. Ask for help. Because when you're pushing yourself to do it, that's also very stressful to you physically and mentally. So, kalau you tak minta tolong, because it's so stressful, so that's why physical health, mental health, you tolak marka. Not good for you. But kalau you ada minta tolong, then you release some of the stress. Then HP, MP, you tambah marka. 
Okay, last question. In the last three months, do you brush your teeth before you sleep every day? Dalam tiga bulan yang lepas, every night, ada tak adik-adik semua berus gigi before you sleep? Kalau ada, your HP, you tambah 10 markah. Your MP, you tambah 5 markah. Kalau tak ada, HP, you tolak 10 markah. MP, tak ada apa-apa perubahan. Okay. So again, kalau you ada berus gigi sebelum you tidur, then HP you tambah 10 marka, MP you tambah 5 marka. Kalau tak ada, maybe ada one night, satu malam saja, you forgot to brush your teeth. So then you did not brush your teeth every day. HP you tolak 10 marka. Okay? So after you are done, then you just see how much did you add or deduct from the 100% that you initially got. Maybe some of you have more than 100%. Maybe some of you have less than 100%. So the idea of this game is to help you understand our physical health and our mental health work together. Okay, They affect each other. It's very difficult to say if you want to maintain your mental health, you langsung tak care about your physical health. You cannot say also you only care about your physical health, your mental health is not important. Okay, so both mental health and physical health, they memang is like a couple, they have to work together. All right, so you don't have to share how much you score, but you just understand on your own, did you do all that? when we talk about those questions. Maybe some of you, you answered yes. Maybe some of you answered no. So occasionally, ada, kadang kala you tolak maka, kadang kala you tambah maka. Okay, so all that is for your own knowledge, okay? You don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell any of us. So that's why very quickly, what I want to share with you is mental health, we look at physical, and also your mental, your body and your mind. So in terms of body, what you can do, what you can concentrate when you want to reduce your stress level is your sleep hygiene. What we mean by sleep hygiene basically is not just sleeping for at least seven hours, but you also maintain a very good sleeping environment. So that's why brushing teeth, all that is also very important. Um, switch off the lights, make sure that the room is dark enough because our body sometimes is very, it can be affected by the lights. Sometimes our body will not be able to function very well in repairing itself when it's bright. So make sure that your room when you sleep is dark enough. So all that is what we call as sleep hygiene. So the environmental factor is also very important. Another one is Exercising, exercising is good to help you release your stress because of the hormones that it um, that it reduce uh, that it uh, produces. Huh, what is wrong with my English? Because of the hormones that it uh, that our body produces, exercise also help us um, reduce our stress level. Lastly, food intake. Food intake, certain food help us reduce our stress. So if you want, you can screenshot whatever that I'm sharing with you now, or you can Google food that re reduces stress, and then it will also tell us what are the food, what are the nutrients we need to eat in order to help us reduce our stress. So banana in general is very good in reducing our stress because of potassium, mainly because of potassium, because it helps our nervous system basically regulate our muscle contraction. So that's why it helps our heartbeat, our reflexes and all that. So that's why potassium generally helps us um, in reducing our stress because it helps us reduce the contraction in our muscle. 
I want all of you to try it. when you are stressed. So imagine when you're stressed, your body is really tense up. Okay, so when you're really tense up, you also feel very uncomfortable. So that's why it increases the, increases the stress level in our body. But when your muscle is relaxed, you actually will feel less stressful. Okay, so this is something for you to take note. When you want to reduce your stress, there are certain food that you can also eat just so that you can feel a bit happier. Like eating chocolates, it produces happy hormones. So that's why it also can reduce your stress a bit. Or maybe certain food um, or even drink a, a, a warm glass of milk and all that will also help you. So like I said, please screenshot this if you want or you can just Google food that reduces stress. You can also find those information online. All right. Uh, anything? Okay, so the next one, other than talking about taking care of our body, we also talk about taking care of our mind. So when we talk about relaxing our mind, one thing is, of course, I don't know if all of you have heard of this term mindfulness. Be mindful of your surrounding. Be mindful of what you are doing. So usually what we talk about um, when we say mindfulness is we want you to be aware of yourself, what you are feeling, what you are thinking, what is happening to your body and also the environment. So sometimes people would say you can try mindful eating. Mindful eating is you take one, for example, if you eat um, chocolate, let's say you take one single bite of the chocolate, you put it in your mouth, you don't chew first. You let it melt in your mouth and see how it feels. You imagine how it feels, maybe the texture of it. Is it soft? Is it slowly melting in your mouth? Is it really hard? Maybe you just took it from the fridge. So how is the texture like? And how is the smell like when you put it in your mouth? Is it very fragrant? Maybe it has some fruity smell. Maybe it has really strong cocoa smell. And then when you taste it, does it taste sweet? Does it taste bitter? Maybe there's nut in there, so it feels a bit nutty and all that. Okay, so when you chew it and you swallow it, how do you feel? So you feel aware of maybe you feel happy. Maybe you actually don't like it. So all that is what it means by mindful eating. Everything that you eat, you really analyze what it makes you feel and what it makes you think about. And also the environment, maybe, I don't know if, if it's um, your area, is it having thunder? I know my area is thundering very loud, so I'm aware of my surrounding. You know, maybe the lighting in your room, is it affecting how you are seeing your screen right now and all that? So be aware of your environment. Okay, so that is mindfulness. Another one is deep breathing. So when you feel stressed or when you feel anxious, deep breathing helps because it helps you focus in your breathing, less focus in what is making you stress or anxious. So deep breathing is one. Another one is, it can be very helpful. This is what we call grounding techniques. For example, grounding techniques can be when you're very stressed, when you're very anxious. Try counting backwards from, I usually try big, okay? I usually start big. I count backwards from 1,000. So 1,999, 998, 997. So when you are stressed, you try counting backwards from 1,000 onwards so that your mind you take your mind away from whatever that is making you stress or anxious. You focus on counting backwards. So you activate your logical mind instead of activating your emotional mind, if, if you understand what I mean. Okay, so that is one, uh, one way in order to ground yourself. Don't think about the an anxiety or the stressful feeling, stressful thoughts so much. You tune into the logical self, okay, so that you are calmer, you're not so stressed, you're not so anxious. Okay, any questions so far?
No. All good. Okay, if you have any question, you can type in the chat as I go on. And then when I check the chat box, then I can also respond to your question if you have any. Okay, next one, I want to try this with you really quickly. I was talking about deep breathing earlier on. So this deep breathing technique is very easy to practice. So every time when you feel stress or every time when you feel anxious or maybe you have panic attack coming, maybe you have um, experience or history of panic attack. So when you feel that coming, you can try this deep breathing exercise. So I want you to imagine a four by four grid. So for example, is this one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So upwards and for um, horizontal and, and vertically, it's four, four by four. You inhale four times. So or rather, when you inhale, you count one to four, and then you hold your breath for four counts. So after you inhale one, two, three, four, you hold it for four counts. You exhale for another four counts and then you breathe normal for four counts. So you usually repeat this cycle 10 times. So when you feel anxious or when you feel stress, if you can remember this deep breathing technique, four by four count. So if all of you have the time now, you can do it. Whether you want to close your eyes or you don't want to close your eyes, that's fine. Closing your eyes, of course, you shut yourself from other external distraction. So you will not be distracted. You will not be interrupted by anything. So that's why we close our eyes so that we can focus in our breathing. When you want to do your deep breathing exercise, I share with you three focus point or focal point. When you do your deep breathing, you either focus on the air going in and the air coming out, or you focus on your chest coming up when you breathe in and going down when you breathe out, or you focus on your stomach, your abdomen. When you breathe in, it should come up. When you breathe out, your stomach should go down. Okay, not the other way around. Huh? If you breathe in, your stomach go in, you're breathing it the wrong way. You're doing the deep breathing exercise wrong. When you do your deep breathing, basically you're sucking air into your abdomen. So your stomach should expand. Like when you blow a balloon, when you blow air into a balloon, the balloon expands. Same theory when you inhale, when you suck air into yourself, your stomach should expand. When you exhale, when you breathe out, your stomach should go in. Okay, so this is how you should imagine when you are breathing. If you deep, when you're doing deep breathing exercise, do not focus here, never. Never put your attention in the middle of your eyebrow. If some of you want to try out, you can. Imagine when you do your deep breathing and you focus right here in the middle of your eyebrow, you would notice you will start to frown. That's not very relaxing. So the more you frown, the more stressful it is for your body. The more you cannot relax. So you never focus in between your eyebrow. When we want to deep breathe, when you want to do deep breathing, we focus. Whatever we focus is downwards, after and under your eye. We never focus whatever that's above your eye. Okay, so that's why either your air going in and out your chest coming up and down or your stomach going up and down. Okay, so that is deep breathing. All right. I hope all of you have learned that. So this is short stress busting breaks. Basically, it's just asking you to come up with activities, how you can reduce your stress. If you Google, there is also this 50 ways to take a break. But what I want you to do is come up with three activities that you think will help you reduce your stress. Whether you want to take a walk, whether you want to just meditate, whether you want to just lie down, space out, whatever it is. So think of your own activity 
to help you reduce stress. Okay, all this is just for reference. It works for other people, it may not work for you. So what works best for you, it's something you have to come up with yourself. I'm going to leave you with this quote. Peace is not the absence of conflict, but the ability to cope with it. So hopefully all of you can find your inner peace. And hopefully you'll be able to find ways to cope with your stress and also your anxiety and all that. All right. So I wrap up my session. Let me check if there's any questions. Um, ah, yes, exactly like what Anne is saying, meditating, um, doing meditation and all that, breathing is very important. Breathing is part of meditation. Okay, ada apa persoalan tak? If not, then I can wrap up my session. Thank you so Thank you. much, Miss Sinede. <laughs> Thank no you. No worries, you so Priya. Much. I definitely learned a lot, and I hope everybody did too. And it's also important that we take some actions from what we learn, right? So hopefully, yes, adik-adik, kita belajar and kita juga menggunakan apa yang kita belajar daripada session ini, kan? So keep thank you so much, Miss Sinedi. Yeah, keep breathing. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. And we have a next All session right. coming up. So if you want to stay on, uh, you can join the next session. And this is going to be interesting also. It's about climate change. So kalau nak tahu apa yang tengah berlaku tentang climate change, please do stay. And then we can also have... Uh, uh, the session is going to happen right now after this. Also, don't forget to complete the link. Uh, there's a link that I sent in the chat box. Uh, so do complete the link that is your exit ticket to show that you have attended this session and you will get recognition for that. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. All right. So I will excuse myself. Stay safe, everyone. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 All right, Darlene, uh, over to you. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, do we have everyone here, all the students here, or shall we wait for a few minutes before we proceed? Uh, you can start. They might just, uh, it's the same, still the same, and some new ones might join in. Okay. So good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the second session for today. Um, it's on what's so hot about climate change. Um, we all know that today the current pressing um, situation, that issue that we have right now is climate change. And we are very privileged to have with us this afternoon, Ms. Jolene Ko from North Malaysia to enlighten us and to uh, run some activities, some interesting activities this afternoon. So handing, handing over to Ms. Jolene. Hi, uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, selamat petang semua, uh, adik-adik semua yang bersama uh, kita hari ini sekarang uh, mungkin boleh uh, buka kamera, uh, buka mic, say hello. If every uh, those who are here can open your videos and say hello, turn on your mic, say hello. Uh, if not, you can uh, type in the chat box, say hello, good afternoon. Okay, all right. Um, let me start. Okay, welcome everyone. Okay, uh, so today's, uh, I mean, this session's topic is what's so hot about climate change? Hi, hi, Nora Azlina. Yeah, my place here in Shah Alam is actually thunder and lightning. Hi, Hidayah, afternoon, how's the weather over there? I bet it's uh, hot and sunny. Hi, Ayn, hi, Alia, good afternoon. All right, um, so if you all can, you can turn on your turn on your camera so I can see you uh, because I like to see you all. I'm also like you. Hi, Fariha and Fatin. Um, I miss meeting my friends, my people, okay? Uh, and I believe you also, some of you all have not gotten in back to school. Ada yang sudah balik sekolah ke? Ada yang tak, belum lagi kan? Hi, Alia. Good afternoon. Okay, I've shared one link uh, with you. Kalau you belum tak nampak ke link in, tak pernah nampak link ini ke boleh masuk uh, and then uh, boleh uh, macam mana um, 
answer the question and then uh, join in the activities there, okay? All right. So now, are you all in the right session? What's so hot about climate change? Even though now sekarang di sini, Asya Alam, dengar tak? Tanda kan? Um, so ada guru. So my BM is not very good, but I try to mix. Okay. Uh, kalau tak faham, boleh tanya. Okay. I also have my, not say my house rules, but our house rules. Okay. So dalam sesi ini, kami juga ada peraturan. Senang saja. Kalau adik pasang headphone, sila pasang kepada paras um, yang tengah lah. Jangan terlalu kuat supaya boleh dengar uh, bunyi-bunyi di luar. Mana tahu kan ada emergency ke, uh, mak uh, atau ayah panggil ke. Okay. Um, kalau boleh, buka kamera kerana I would like to see you all. Memang saya nak jumpalah muka-muka adik-adik semua ya. Alright, um, take screen breaks. Okay, saya tahu sudah satu jam kan tengok screen tadi. So, okay, like this. You tengok, nampak tak video saya? Kalau nampak, uh, type OK dalam check box. Nampak tak video saya? Nampak tak saya? You nampak mana saya tak? Okay, ah, okay. okay. Nampak mata saya kan? Sebenarnya mata saya kecil. Okay. Kerana sudah satu jam tengok screen, so kena exercise sikit. So macam ni, senang saja. Okay. Uh, Toleh kiri. Eh. Ah. Uh, apa? Neck don't move. Ah. Leher jangan gerak. Tapi mata gerak kiri. Satu, dua, tiga. Dan tengok atas. Satu, dua, tiga. Tengok kanan. Satu, dua, tiga. Ikut tak? Tak apa, Nora Selina, I faham uh, you have problem with your camera. But if you can see me, please follow the uh, eye exercise. Yeah? And then look down. One, two, three. Okay, and then uh, pusing. Tahu pusing? Pusing tiga kali. Yeah. Matang. Okay, boleh. You know, like, uh, kalau you punya kawan uh, cakap merepekkan, you pusing mata macam ni. Satu, dua, tiga. Okay, pusing kiri, dan pusing kanan. Alright? Okay. Uh, siapa sudah pusing semua mata kiri kanan uh, atas bawah bagi saya satu thumbs up. Now I want to see all the thumbs up. Yes, Alia, thank you. Hi, hi Hadira, nice to see you. Ain, okay sudah buat yang mata punya tak? Okay, kalau sudah exercise your eyes, plus sudah satu jam lebih satu jam ah, uh, it's good for you to exercise your eyes ya. Yeah? Uh, nice to see you, Hadira. I hope that you can keep your camera on and then teman me, okay? I'm also very lonely over this side. Okay, make sure you're hydrated because sudah satu jam. Uh, bottle air, I don't know whether you can see my bottle air. Oh, well done, Hadira. Good job. Okay, I, I hope others pun uh, boleh sediakan air kerana sangat penting ah uh, air untuk badan kita. Alright, uh, next um, peraturan adalah respect each other kerana kita dalam satu bilik Walaupun dia online kan, dia satu bilik. Um, so, um, kami, kita belajar bersama-sama. So, perlu respect each other. Okay, I want to emphasize, saya nak menekankan ini. Uh, it's a safe learning zone. So, bilik ini adalah selamat untuk semua adik-adik, uh, including saya lah. Okay, uh, untuk belajar bersama-sama. Okay, uh, tanya apa saja soalan yang uh, you mau. Uh, you ada ke uh, you mungkin ragu-ragu betul tak tak soalan saya tak apa tanya sahaja kerana there is no such thing as a silly question tak ada soalan yang silly <laughs> okay <laughs> alright okay now I'm going to quickly go start okay so this is me I am Jolene hello everybody if you can see me you can hear me say hello uh, wave at me I think your reaction got wave kan I think so got wave wave or give me a thumbs up so I know that you are here uh, bagi saya thumbs up ke atau hello ke atau party head ke supaya saya tahu that adik-adik semua nampak saya dengar saya dengan uh, baiklah okay now this is me listening to the secret the tree is telling me okay ini gambar saya uh, sedang mendengar rahsia yang uh, yang diberi I mean the tree lah is trying to tell me the pokok trying to tell me a secret lah okay so what do you think is this big secret okay before I go into the big secret okay today we have with me uh, Miss Norshida, uh, Miss Shida, Miss Darlene, uh, Miss uh, Anne, um, they are here to ensure that you all enjoy this experience uh, more smoother. Lah. Okay. If you have any question, please type in the chat box or raise your hands like just now what uh, uh, Miss Priya said. 
Okay, so now share a little bit of myself. You saw my gamba listening to the tree. Okay, I love trees. Okay, I love to plant them. Okay, but ada but, okay. Saya saya cintakan pokok, saya suka pokok tetapi dot dot dot. I like to plant also. Tapi setiap kali saya tanam pokok, dia akan mati. Okay, saya tanam apa, dia mati apa. Okay, you beritahu saya nama pokok apa, saya pernah tanam, mesti mati, pernah mati. Okay, um, tak tahu kenapa lah. Saya punya tangan, mereka kata tangan panas. Okay, you nampak gambar tu hot hands. They say, I have tangan panas. Apa yang saya sentuh, Kek! macam ini. Okay, tetapi, I have a very good friend. Saya ada satu kawan, ya, kawan baik lah. Uh, uh, dia, dia tanam pokok, apa pun best. Whatever plant she plants, she'll, she'll survive. Ada banyak bunga, ada banyak buah, uh, tapi saya terbalik. So, dia beritahu saya, never to give up. Okay, jangan putus asa. Mesti continue. If I plant 100 trees, if 99 trees die, one tree survive. He said, very good. So, dengan uh, kata semangatnya, I dengar and I continue to plant trees lah. And while I was doing this, planting my trees, I found a big secret from them. Okay, now, I let your time to think, what do you think this big secret is? Okay. So this year, I have, uh, because now we are in the pandemic, kan? Uh, not say pandemic, like we have in MCO 123 so many times, kan? I'm in this, uh, this year, one year, I've planted more trees than I have over 30 years. Okay, now you know, agak -agak my age already. Okay, um, and some of them survived my tangan panas. Okay, tadi kan, I kata 100, tinggal satu. But now, I think I tanam 100, uh, mungkin 30 survive. I think sudah naik lah persen, uh, peratus kan. Uh, macam your exam ah. <laughs> uh, score 100% lah, I score 30%. I'm very happy already, okay. Tak pas, belum pas lagi, but 30%. Alright, uh, but at least 30% survive my tangan panas. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to tell you my big secret now. Remind me later. Okay, remind me later. Huh? Uh, what is the big secret that the uh, the tree told me? Okay, now uh, if you have uh, gone to the Padlet, uh, you would have already uh, put in uh, your photos. I know I saw Ayn. Uh, I saw, um, who else I saw? Huh? Let me see. Um, I saw uh, Hidayah, uh, Alia, uh, Kitiga, Hadira. Okay, so this is me. Okay, uh, so I ask y'all a question. What is your favorite season? Um, of course, lah. Uh, in Malaysia, we only have rain, uh, rain and rain and uh, hot okay uh, but of course if you have been to other countries and you like that season you can share okay so my favorite season is rain rainy season okay i think you also know why because i i tulis sana uh, because when raining kan um i don't need to water my plants lah uh, that means safe water juga lah okay so that's why i i share this photo of me hugging a tree because uh, during hot weather this tree provides me with shade Dia bagi saya uh, apa tu uh, teduh. Agree tak? Kalau agree, the trees give us shade. Uh, please type yes in the chat box. If you agree that um, uh, pokok pokok bagi teduh, type 